In my program about stopping Zoom fatigue, I talk about the biggest difference between presenting to an audience and presenting to a camera. And what I'll do is show some different slides. And to show you how I can go through a lot of slides without the audience knowing it, I'm gonna do a live screen share, I'm not editing at all. And this is what the audience sees when I'm trying to make this first point. And that is the biggest difference is when I'm standing in front of a group of people, all five of my senses are engaged. I can smell what's going on in the room. If there's food, for, for example, I can taste it. Even if people have eaten, if, even if I haven't eaten, you can still sometimes get the taste in the air. I can see what's going on in front of me. I can feel the room temperature. I can also feel the sense in the room, the attitude of the audience, and I can hear what's going on. However, when I'm speaking to a camera, I can't smell the smells on the other end of the camera. I can't taste whatever food may be around. And I certainly can't touch. I don't have a sense of the room temperature, the, the attitude on the other end. Those three senses are completely eliminated. My sight is limited to only what the other person's camera is showing me or the other people. And I can only hear what their microphones pick up if they're not muted that can be a real challenge. It overtaxes our brains as presenters because we, our, our visual aspect is trying to pick up and make up for all this lack of other senses. Also as an audience member, I'm struggling to use my visual sense to make up for all the others. So this is why we can get so exhausted and why we have to adjust our presentations and not just be a talking head or just show slides. But what you just saw there were eight slides. However, because I structured them the way I did, and I used a technique called layering, you may not have figured out that it was eight slides. So let's go back to a screen share and I'll show you how this is set up. You see on the left side, here are my eight slides that I use. The first one just has the title. Then I bring in the picture, the second picture with the senses, take that, uh, my picture of me standing uh, out of the way and then bring up the gallery view. I'll bring up for three separate lines that will wipe out those three senses that we no longer have available to us. Now I could have put all this on one or two different slides and stacked them up, but it isn't visually as effective. I still made my point and I think it's more engaging to the audience. It's smoother for the presenter if you layer one slide on top of another. Why is this important? because I've heard some people suggest that you should only use certain number of slides, like five slides for every 15 minutes. I mean, look, there is no rule of thumb on how many slides you should use. You use the number that you need to make your point and nothing more. You'll notice I didn't have a lot of verbiage on there. Don't want that. You'll notice there weren't a lot of extra images. All I needed was a picture of me on stage, a picture of a gallery and the image that represents the senses. But by layering them, I put a lot of slides in my deck, but the audience would never know because there's a smooth transition from one slide to the next. So don't go in with a predetermined number of slides, layer them one little change at a time, and it can make it more visually appealing and it will keep the audience interested because you're making slight changes. Tomorrow you'll hear about how to properly use the text and how much text you should put on your slides. See you then. Thank <laughs> you.